Good morning you guys, it's Karen and as you probably know, I'm always on the lookout for long lasting treat ideas for Watson. Either things that he can sit and chew because that relaxes him and calms him and it helps him sleep chewing, releases endorphins, or something like things in a Kong or something that you can stuff with food. The problem is that there are a lot of ideas out there for things to stuff say a Kong with, but they can be high calorie, they can maybe have things in that aren't great for the dog and so I'm always looking for something that is healthier, better and lower calorie because Watson is pretty much like me, always on a diet. What I've used in Watson's Kong with the most success has been dog food, wet dog food because Watson has raw dog food for his dinner and he has uh, kibble in the morning and I suppose I could put his raw food in it but I don't think it's delicious enough to him um, to be a treat. Um, he's, he's quite happy to eat it for his dinner every day, you know, but he doesn't wolf it down. Um, whereas wet dog food, I think most dogs enjoy. So I was going into the supermarket to pick up some wet dog food um, to put into his Kong and of course looking at the ingredients of everything. And I had a thought and I thought, let me go and check and compare the baby food section. And so I wanted to show you, this is Ella's Kitchen, lovely lamb roast dinner with all the trimmings, baby food. And tell you how this compares to probably any lamb wet dog food pouches like this or little pots. Every single one I looked at had a low percentage of meat in the animal section, in the, in the dog food section. And the one I looked at in particular, that I was like, oh, that's great, that one's lamb and liver. The percentage of meat was 3%, it was 3% lamb. Um, whereas this one is Ella's Kitchen Lamb Roast Dinner. This is 11% lamb. And so I thought, well, let me have a look at the ingredients because you need to make sure that there's not any additives or you know anything nasty. But this has got in it vegetable stock, which is water and organic vegetables, carrots, parsnips, swedes, onions, and leeks, organic potatoes, organic carrots, organic lamb, red cabbage, broccoli, parsnips, peppercorns and mint and nothing else absolutely nothing else now before you worry about the onions in here I am not concerned about that because they are it doesn't give the exact percentage but the problem with onions is only if eaten in excess it's like anything with garlic and onions and a lot of other things that are on the kind of danger list if you like it's not that they can't have a tiny bit because I have even seen it on, on TV programs saying make sure that you don't let them anywhere near the garlic and onion. However, if you have a look at kibble dog food, a lot of it has garlic and onion in it. So as long as it's not, they're not eating, you know, three garlic bulbs or three onions, then it's absolutely fine. And so the next test was to see if Watson liked it and he absolutely loves it. So I, you literally just twist it open and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'm not gonna taste it though, it just looks like, I guess what you would expect typical baby food to look like. I haven't tried freezing this one yet, but I did put it into um, a Kong type thing for him yesterday and he loved it. The excellent thing about this as well is you don't need to figure out the calories because the calories are right here. And for this whole pack, it's 69 calories. So I used about half of it yesterday in Watson's Kong. That filled up a Kong, no problem. 35 calories, which is absolutely brilliant. Compared to say using a Philadelphia light cheese that I give them sometimes, the frozen ones, they're 55 calories. Um, I think 35 calories is really good. I know not everybody works out the calories of their dog food, but I, that's probably because it, it's kind of tricky. But if you do want to work it out, if you put into Google adult dog food calculator, um, it will bring up a couple of different sites where you can calculate the calories of anything of your dogs. Um, you just have to work out you have to put in what the analytical constituents are. Every treat, etc., will have the analytical constituents. You put that in and it will tell you how many calories per gram. So if you do want to work it out, that's how you can do so it. I thought I would try one. It seems to have been a success. So I am going to use the rest of this tonight and then I will go and have a look again at the options. I remember seeing that there was, you know, roast beef, roast lamb, all sorts of things, spaghetti bolognese, every kind of dinner you could imagine and so you can probably find something just make sure you check the ingredients and that there aren't any additives I think this Ella's kitchen brand seems to be a really good one because it's all organic and there's nothing kind of extra or nasty in there so um, 
Hopefully you enjoyed that extra idea. Let me know what you fill your Kong with because like I said, I'm always looking for ideas. Um, I wish, wish my Watson liked vegetables because if he did, I would fill this out also with raw carrot or something like that. But I've tried every vegetable and he's just not interested. But I'm sure there's plenty of other dogs out there that, that do like vegetables. So let us know your ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.